Ahoy. It's not here. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually here to do some live stream painting. What's wrong with me? I've just been running around all morning, I guess, and I've just sort of settled down. It's always a bit of a rush setting this stuff up. I don't know why, but here we are today. We're going to be painting some Carnival on my custom bases. The exciting thing about these custom bases, well, I crafted these, obviously, on some of the live stream last week. I would, If I was being clever, I'd link it back to last week, but I'm not going to. Um... But yeah, I, I actually gave these a bit of a paint just because I wanted to see what they looked like when they when they were done and they look all right. I don't know how rocky they look. Do they look like a man's just been stabbing, stabbing bits of green stuff with a with a, a little dwarven sword? I don't know. Maybe they do. But um, I've sort of started these models, but I haven't really made much progress on them. I, I did the bases, which was the most important bit because I was just playing around with them. And that's just like a wash of uh, Mechanicus Standard Grey with a dry brush of... Um, I remember now. Grey. Administration Grey. So, um, and, and a wash of Null Oil in there in the cracks to darken down the cracks. But yeah, uh, and then I painted the boots. Um, I painted the boots. Uh, Rhinox Hide. I did a couple of layers of Mephiston Red on the red. And that's about as much as I've got done. So I really, um, I'm going to try and make some progress over on these chaps. So, um, yeah, uh, these don't all work in the same thing. These are the guys together. That's a gondolier guy with his gondolier paddle. And these are, uh, aren't fishermen or something like that? Ship hands, deck hands. That's what they are. So I guess we'll just, uh, crack on and start painting them. Now, what have they got? All right, so these guys, they got gray trousers. So we're gonna start with the gray trousers. I think those guys got gray trousers. I think they have gray trousers. I don't know. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's the most grayest of the gray trousered ones. So let's let's get on with it. Um, ahoy, man, ahoy. Right. Uh, just clicking. I don't know if Zug's turning up today. I didn't message him, but he's um, I don't know, asleep or something. I could load Discord actually, just in case he turns up. Oh. Oh, then we're just getting to the point where I've got so much on screen that I can't see what's going on. <laughs> Always the most organised of um chaps in the morning there we go right sweet okay all right also i moisturized my arm just before the live stream and it's just like there's moisturizer everywhere now which is kind of crap it's all over my desk and all over my fingers yeah i'm wondering oh, right so it's carnival time Oh, no, I thought you were going to say live stream laggy. I thought, no, I'm going to talk about bloody internet at my house. <sighs> notifications. Yeah, well, who knows? I, I, I have no idea how notifications either work or don't work. So I guess we should crack on, really. Too much gabbing. But I hope, I hope, well, was, uh, just to give you a little bit of a weather update in the theme park. What have we got? Got a bit of rain. Not particularly cold, just rainy, really. Grey. It's kind of classic um, theme park weather, really. <laughs> right. So I guess I guess with these guys, what does wisdom say? Wisdom says to always paint from the um, the inside out. So I'm going to paint the flesh. Yeah, the flesh next. So we're going to start off with our good old favourite, Mr. Bugman, Blood, Bug, Bugman's Glow. Oh my God. No, there's no occasion. I looked at my arm and it looked like <sighs> sandpaper. So I thought, you know, I better actually, you know, try and turn my arm back into looking like skin again, as opposed to some sort of like, I was look like, <laughs> actually, I would say the more accurate, Patches on my arm look like this. Like that. 
there you go. <laughs> That's about the most accurate description I could find. So I figured I'd try and like stop my arm being white. And now I, I, I've made my arm like bright pink instead, which no one wants to see. There you go. <laughs> it's like gross psoriasis arm. <laughs> right. So this guy has got a yeah, little bandage on his hands. That's sweet, isn't it? I should be using a bigger brush. Why am I not using a bigger brush? Use a bigger brush, I'll give it it. All right. I don't know if Zug's Cadians arrived. They probably didn't. I don't know. Oh, uh, is it still working? Working again? Oh, I'm gonna check. <laughs> to see if my live stream actually catches up. Um, I have no idea. I can't see the actual little thing that I uh, really annoying. I don't know. Let's push the buttons, wiggle the sticks some more. Yep. I have no idea my preview software isn't working. OBS studio, oh, the studio seems to be broken. So, um, well, hopefully you can see, hopefully you'll see my thumb. Ugh. Right. But hopefully everything's all right. If it isn't, then I have no idea because I can't tell. Shout though. Hopefully you should see painting in a second. <laughs> good, 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 good. It's fun. I mean, I don't need the live stream to be working. I don't need it to be working at my end. I, I, it's only just the way I know that everything's okay. <laughs> oh, YouTube Studio. I might have been downloading some games. That's why it went a bit weird. Right. Excellent. Excellent. We don't need a stinking preview. We can manage without. I have literally no idea what's going on with YouTube today. Is it my internet? Probably my internet. It's probably my internet service provider punishing me for being angry with them. Right. 
Now we'll have to come back to that. We've got a few more models to go. So I think that's about it for flesh on that guy. No, it's it's definitely being a bit weird today. YouTube is being weird because normally I see like I've got my OBS on one side of the screen and then on the other side of the screen I have like the um, the studio, like the YouTube studio and the YouTube studio usually previews like what? Huh, what's going on there? What is that? I'm trying to work out this is a casting fault. Oh, it is a casting fault. Okay, we're going to have to do some impromptu fixing. I never noticed that. Look at that. That's a, that's a lump of resin, that. All right, let's go fix it. Time to get the old tools out. Hopefully this won't be too bad to get out. Well, he says, I'm not sure I'm going to do that. Not a good way, I think this is going to be a good way to like injure myself. I don't own a small hobby saw, which is a problem. I might have to just trim it down a bit. it with a, a blade until it looks a bit better we might have to just like never just look around never look at that side of his arm it's also another tactic oh don't worry I'm going real slow don't worry also bear in mind I'm bracing it don't worry I'm like literally moving like like millimeters I'm like, I think we'll uh, do it that way. And also, this is not that sharp. Don't worry, this blade is not that sharp. <laughs> no, it's, it's really not that sharp. Um, yeah, trust me. <laughs> just, just, just like slice my arm off. And, like, just blood everywhere. No. Right. Let's whack a little bit more primer and let that bad boy dry a little bit. And then we'll get the we'll carry on. Oh god. We've got way too much primer. It's like how to freak people out on a live stream. Like get knife out. Right, we're gonna pretend that, that that never happened. Don't don't be like that. I've been doing this for years. I've only moderately cut myself a few times. Oh. You know what the nice thing about that? Um, <laughs> no, I'll be criticised if I say this, so I'm not going to say that the paint tastes nice. It's tasty, though. It tastes like bubble gum. Anyway. <laughs> Put that over there. Let's do other painting. <laughs> like, 
Oh God. Yeah, I'm all right. Don't worry, everyone. I've used. It's all the the cutting the, the danger section of the video is over now. Don't worry. It's all okay. It's all going to be all right. We're back to just play. We're just touching models now. We're just painting things. Maybe that's why I never show you me uh, building stuff because you're like, be terrified. You'd be like, cut your arm off. <laughs> <laughs> it's not flavoured, it just smells a bit like that. <sighs> Maybe it's the danger cast. Maybe it's designed. This is the new, the new way. My new style. I'm gonna like freak you out by like doing loads of dangerous things. And I, I'm gonna run with a pair of scissors in a second. <laughs> uh, he runs with scissors. He. Cuts badly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be great though, wouldn't it? A large spray of blood into the camera and me just like screaming in agony in my chair. Hey, just said the sort of like, you just hear the uh, emergency services turn up. Well, I suppose, you know, if it did get me on the algorithm, then um, at least it would notice me, you know, ban me. That would make a change. All right. That's true. They probably like ban the video. It's like, I didn't mean to cut myself. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's what I want. The street cred of like a man with like a knife in his hand. I swear I've seen grosser things on YouTube than that. Maybe not. Well, there's only a lot of flesh on that chat. <clears throat> Uh, this guy, this is a, a man with a club. Never mess with a man with a club. <laughs> Get monetized. Fucking hell, It'll take a while. 2023 is my plan. Not that there's a plan. The annoying thing, apparently, what it can do when you get monetized, they go back and they lace all your videos with loads of adverts, apparently. There's a chance that happens. It's, it's too blunt to cut my finger off. It would never take my finger off. That's not a hand. That's a hand. I'm so used to, I'm so used to Games Workshop models where that entire thing would be his hand. That is actually a rough on his... That is a rough on his sleeve. <laughs> I'm so used to Games Workshop stuff. Right. There are more of these, but I'm only going to paint these ones today. And this dude, this dude is like the more interesting one. This guy is like, um, he's some sort of like super powered being, allegedly, who's got like, I don't know. He's like Batman. I have no idea. I can't remember what they're called. They've got a name though, these things. And they're a specific sort of character inside the carnival game. Um, yeah.
I think they're acrobatic chaps. There you go. Um. Yeah, I'm, I can't remember what they're called. They're, they're literally... Um, they've got like... I could go and get the book and tell you what they're called, really. I'll do that in a bit. I'll do that in a bit. Because these are like... They're like acrobat guys. They're not like super acrobatic. I think they are actually, because the whole game is like, you know, they do like parkour and stuff like that. But so this guy's going to be like red and uh, white. So he's like... His jacket's going to be white and so are his trousers. So, um... That's why the trousers and stuff haven't been painted yet. Right. Alright, let's see if we can get this guy done. I bet this isn't dry yet. Alright, let's paint his other arm. Paint his other arm. That will never be dry yet, but I want to sort of start making progress on him. You know me, I'm all about the progress, despite adversity. Alright. I've succeeded in painting like... Yeah, like I said, I've painted like sod all this week. Did, were these red last time? They were, weren't they? Yeah, I didn't actually get around to painting them. Right. And we'll just paint his arm there and pretend that that's his arm. Let's get his face done. Now, what you can say about painting uh, humans? The, I'm quite looking forward to these though, because I think they're going to be nice and simple. Hopefully, with a bit of luck. My house is going on. There's not a lot going on at the moment. Oh, I, <laughs> I bought a ukulele. I said I was buying one, but I've actually bought it now. So, you know, don't expect any ukulele content. No, no, no. Right. Um, I'm just using the um, I'm just using the colour scheme on the old TT Combat website because I figure that like because I'm not very original. You got to remember that. But I do like painting stuff that other people have done and try and emulate it. So it feels like a little babby test of my skills if I could do stuff like other people do. Did I? I'm very lazy when it comes to thinking about models. I prefer to, but I just like painting. The process of painting. <laughs> There's not so much into color combinations and creating color. But these are the these. This is the color scheme on the um. It's almost like I'm going box art. But we'll see what it looks like. The box art is just a, a it's a different, completely different style as well to what normally happens. Yeah. Right. Um, so, trousers on these guys. Trousers on these guys are going to be done in grey. So let's get me grey out. We're going to go with Mechanica Standard Grey because everyone loves Mechanica Standard Grey. It's so much fun. God damn it. One day, one day I'm going to spray paint all over my monitor. And that'll be the day I get a new monitor. God damn it. I do need new monitors though. Only because I'm tempted to up, I'm, I'm tempted to start recording in 4K. Like, videos and then down, 
bloody hell, downscaling them to um, YouTube to try and deal with some of the quality issues. Because I know that if you record in a higher, you know, the algorithm, or well not the algorithm, but the upscaling, like, is not as bad. Give it more dots, more dots make it better. But maybe, I don't know, maybe it'd be beneficial for me as well, you know. Oh, what's going on there? White. Oh yeah, I just tore it off, didn't I? I forgot that this guy is uh, the one I went crazy with the um the knife on. Give that a minute. Got a few of these things. I'm gonna. Huh? Don't know. I mean, I, I I'd need a monitor to try it out, so it ain't gonna happen anytime soon. Recording in 4K. I'd imagine the only thing about it is, I'd imagine one issue is that the videos are gonna be massive because, like, you know, what? And half a, a half hour video of like half hour video of like say something like clan folk that's about the current settings i record out i'm just trying to think it, it's about two gigabytes the mkv file it produces so presumably that would go up that would go up by <laughs> To eight gigabytes for for an hour, half hour video. Christ, lot. You know my fancy new internet. I said I wasn't going to talk about my internet. I will talk about it briefly because it actually has wound me the hell up this week. So I got the new stuff. I got holes in my. I'll, t I'll talk about it briefly. Uh, so I got my new. Um, they basically came along, drilled holes in the wall, and they put like, because previously I had fibre to cabinet. So, you know, fibre up the road, cabinet to the thing, and then telephone lines copper coming into the house. And um, so they, they came along and they put the uh, the fibre in. So that it's like fibre to my door now. So like fibre goes into my house from the cabinet and it's fibre all the way, baby. So in theory, you'd think that would be faster you know, cause fiber and it's not like copper. <laughs> so anyway, uh, the men came around, they did the work and it was all very easy, good. The people were very pleasant. They did it all. And then I, I'm like, it's going at the same speed as it was going before. What's going on? So I give it a day cause I think, oh, maybe it'll take a little while to sort it shiz out. Because, you know, internet, you got to let these things go for a few days. You can't just, like, expect it to work instantly. That's crazy. It's not the way computers work. <laughs> so I give it a day, and then, like, I'm like, no, it's still going exactly the same speed. Actually, the upload is going faster than the download now. But the download is basically the same speed. So, um... I phone up the company and go round and round and round and round and round and round and round, and round, and round talking to various support people. I was on the phone for a very, very long time to them. And it turns out that there's something wrong with my account with my ISP. <laughs> Paint the, uh, the the paddle in brown. There's a problem with my, uh, my account and my ISP. So bear in mind, you know, they sent me a letter saying, we're going to upgrade you to broadband. It's going to be absolutely, or to like fiber, it's going to be absolutely wonderful. Uh, and then when I phone up the company, they're like, we haven't upgraded you. We haven't upgraded you at all. We don't know who you are. We don't know like how you got it. 
<laughs> I'm like, well, the men came round and like, you know, plugged it in and it's working all through your system at the moment. And they're like, we've got no record, a proper record of you having this work done on our system, so we can't upgrade you to anything faster than you've already got. Uh, and that's and that's where we left it, which is which is nice. Um, they said they were going to phone me up yesterday to like explain what the hell was going on, and they didn't bother. So I'm just going to go and get a new ISP because I am very, very sick and tired of them. And also they can't give me faster internet and I can get a much better price going for someone else. So I'm going to do that. The only annoying thing about it is it's just making sure we move our email addresses off of like the old supplier because we got these people ages ago. So anyway, but that was incredibly... Oh, it's just burglar. We all came to do it. Why well, he just came to check the place out? Um, no, no, there were definitely people in the sort of like the right vans for doing it. And, and the fact is, it's working still. You know, they, they've changed it out. They plugged it out. They plugged the new leads in, so they are giving me some sort of internet. <laughs> it's just like they just don't, and it's coming through the new technology as well that they've plumbed in. So it's not like it's not like it's not working, and they they're not sending it through. The, I don't know whether it's the same thing. I don't. I have no idea. It's weird. You think that like there will be some sort of difference? Maybe there isn't a difference. It's got lights on it and everything. It's real. I swear it's real. I wouldn't lie. Well, you'd think the people who stick my broadband in would bloody well know whether it was working or not, wouldn't you? And how it was working. you think they'd be able to tell that. But anyway, so now I've got it done, and that's been done for free. <laughs> I'm going go, so to go to another company. <laughs> Screw them. Someone else can put internet down my line. I don't know what they forget to bill me. Oh, damn, they forget to bill me. I mean, I'm surprised they're not forgetting to bill me, to be honest. They've screwed up everything else. I suppose they, you know, they like they like taking their money, so... I guess that's, that's one thing, you know, that they won't forget. You know, it's the wise man... who uh, doesn't... or it's not the unwise man who doesn't bill people. Yeah. anyway so that was but that was like but that was one of my days off literally i spent my whole it was literally a three hour phone conversation try like i got passed around like five six times it was an absolute nightmare and every time i got on to someone who was like well just uh, check out and see if we can upgrade you we'll be able to upgrade you and then they look on the system and it's totally balked <laughs> and i'm like and by the by the third person i'm like yeah yeah you're not gonna be able to upgrade me and they're like, why not? It's because the system's broken. And they're like, no, it isn't. And then it's like, the system's broken. And then I had at one point, one of the customer service people saying to me, um, your idea of what's just wrong is as good as mine. I'm like, how could that be? You work for the company. I'm a member of the public. My knowledge of the system can't by definition be as bad as yours. Otherwise, I don't... <laughs> It's like, your idea of what's wrong is as good as mine. It's like, what? <laughs> just... Ugh. Getting wound up just talking about it. <laughs> just like... Right. Anyway, so that was that. Yeah. Right, so we're gonna go and do the um we're gonna do the um the shirts. Right, we're gonna do the shirts and the uh 
Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it just makes me laugh. Your idea's as good as mine. So that's really not the case. <sighs> What's that? Is that a good brush? Did I, bring a, did I dare to bring a good brush over? I did, I brought a good brush over. Uh, all right. Okay, all right. Okay, so this guy, he's got, a, for some reason, he's got a very white shirt. So he's gonna be along the same principles as this guy. So his top half is gonna be like the same color as this guy's jacket. It all makes sense in a minute, all right. So we're gonna paint white, I guess. Was it the trick to painting good white? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I think it, this is definitely the the tool is broken. This is definitely broken because I've had a series of weird scenarios with my ISP because I've been with these people for ages and they like they they've shifted me over from when they were a different company. So they basically I, I'm like a, a legacy account from their old company, and I I don't think they've ever I don't think they've ever kind of got it right. My account it's always been very very broken. But I, I get what you mean. Uh, we're going to go with the uh, Celestia Grey, which I need to buy more of because I'm really running low on this. This paint isn't too bad, actually. You know, we're like slagging off the the Games Workshop sort of like whites. But this is the closest I get to using. This is like a really good undercoat for a white effect. I tend to do... Um, obviously, my whites are just really greys. Right. I'm not overly concerning myself with this. But again, yeah. But so, so my dreams of having faster internet, are, I'm going to have to wait for a little bit. Oh yeah, I'm not, no, this is going to be, I've learned my white lessons years ago. Um, all my whites are grey now. Just different levels of brightness of grey. It looks quite bright, but it is a grey. It's ain't white. Nice. All right, let's get this bit done. Right, so this guy's going to be slightly more complicated to do. Right, so actually, no, I'm gonna not use, not use the fancy brush yet. No fancy brush yet, not quite. Great. So, this guy, right. To work out, I'm gonna do like uh, 
<sighs> oh no. Yeah. You don't want to paint a house white. <laughs> I suppose, you, you know, when you paint houses, you don't paint them grey first, do you? Back in the past, I think I would have freaked out painting this colour scheme, because red and white, it's pretty, um, it's pretty insane bold. I should have probably like actually done a bit of washing before I did the red, but whatever. going on here. He has got some leather straps on his arms. Obviously this is the first coat so it's going to look like absolute shit. He's just a bit of a red mess. <laughs> and obviously he's got hair back here as well. I, I avoid painting anything that's above this scale. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, I did paint a uh, a chair. I've painted a couple of chairs, a bit of furniture. And I got moaned out because I painted it like a model. My wife was like, why are you painting him like that? I'm like, because this is the way I paint models. <laughs> He's like, it's going to take you forever to do it that way. It's like, yeah. I didn't use a little brush. I was just like watering down the paint and stuff. It's like, you don't water down this paint. It's for outside use. I'm like, eh, this is, uh, this. I can't not water down paint. Yeah, my garden bench, that is it. Yeah, yeah. See, I clearly don't do enough of my life that, like, painting a garden bench is an exciting painting task for me. <laughs> yeah, that's just like... It was one of Oak's highlights in his life. One, it made the man of him. Right. 
Right, we could be paying this gray a while. That's kind of it though. That's all the, the red, that's all the, that will be back. Don't worry, that ain't, we ain't done with you yet, right. Yeah, my garden bench. Oh, I've got coffee. I made myself coffee, look, coffee. Looks awful, this mug though. Right, so now we're gonna paint. Um, this guy, he's got a less posh shirt, so he's gonna be done in his Andrew dust. It's looking about, oh, what's going on? What's going on? Hold on. Right. And this guy's legs, legs are gonna be Andrew dust colored. And his shirt is all right. <laughs> what color did you paint it? I'm I'm imagining like for what oh there's gonna be more questions to follow up. What color did you paint it? Let's, don't worry, there's going to be follow-up questions. <laughs> I'll just move this a little bit. Right. Oh, got to move the camera. Check everything's still in alignment. Yeah, we're still good. Right. Yeah, there, there are... That, that... There's many questions that go along with your statement, I once bought a fire hydrant, stripped the paint and painted it again. I think you may be going to guess a few of the questions, but okay. What if the first question is normally, what color did you paint it? Right, okay. So you, presumably it was red before as well. So you you got a fire hydrant, you snaffled it, took it off the street, presumably, I like to think. Stole it, repainted it, and did you put it back on the street? Like some kind of... I don't even know, some sort of like crazy restoration art feat. We're gonna kind of find out and there's like, you've done this across like loads of places in America and you're like a wanted felon. And I'm gonna be like, oh dude, you gotta like hand yourself in. Fire hydrant restorer. This guy's got a collar. Man, collars are never easy to paint. Oh, right. That sounds... Sounds reasonable. You've made the story sound a lot more reasonable now. I was spinning out to be something much more exciting. <laughs> you know how to steal fire hydrants. Aren't they full of water? I presume... No? I'm curious now. The how you steal a fire hydrant stream. 
Is there only a few American? All right. All right, you can turn them off. This is old Plumber's Guild work. This is his Secrets of the Plumber's Guild. You're going to be all right telling me this. You're not going to get hunted down by the Plumber's Union, are you? I do care about your safety. Because we don't really have fire hydrants over in the uh, theme park. We don't have them. We've got like... Actually, I'm not sure. You know, we need a piece of technology. Oh, this is this is Plumbers Union. This is secrets of the Plumbers Union. I feel like I'm I'm learning secret law. I did not know that. I mean, I, I can't ever claim I've done a lot of thinking about American fire hydrants, to be honest. It's not something that, you know, that my mind has filled with over the years, like... Thoughts on how to, um... Snaffle fire hydrants. <laughs> Just like typical on this, <laughs> typical, typical on this channel. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't doubt, I don't doubt that. <laughs> nah, man, they don't have fire hydrants in the UK. What do they do if there's a fire? Yeah, they just wait for it to rain. That's the way it works. They're just like fire service is basically the um. The weather forecasters. We do have fire hydrants, but genuinely, genuinely, right on the streets, we have like signs that have got like H's on them, and then like a distance that presumably the firemen are trained to understand uh, where the hydrants are. And we don't really have hydrants like on the street. It's not. It's like a piece of street furniture where you'd see it on the street. They're like, I think they're under flaps or something. I think they're under... But again, I, I don't know because, like, we don't... We just don't know. I don't know. Maybe it makes me a bad citizen. I don't know how to steal fire hydrants in my own country. Sorry, man. I don't think we have them. I, I generally don't think we have them. They're like underground jobbies. Maybe they are hydrants, but I don't know. You'd need a fire hydrant expert on the channel, and we don't have one. That's not my part of the theme park, you see. I, I tend not to work with the, the water. Yeah. Oh, they must be under service. Underwater. Under, yeah, I don't even know what you say. Under service hatches, yeah. That sounds like the sort of thing we have. We got like loads of those. But I genuinely, I, I can't think I've ever seen, because you know, I don't walk around like following firemen about. I don't actually, I don't actually know where, pe where firemen plug their hoses in. But, we have got a lot of rain, so. God, Xandru Dust is nice paint. When you use something like the Celestial Grey and then you go to like Xandru Dust, like, you feel the difference in the quality of the coverage. Do you know what I mean? Like Xandru Dust is actually covering this whereas the other one is like nah although you know not covering too well here all right
All right, nice. I'm just going back and redoing these because the, the paint should have dried by now anyway. I was watching a, a video on um, <laughs> I don't, yeah, like I say, I have no idea. There you go. Discover more, report back. Oh. I was watching a, uh, a video on the uh, music in Dark Tide, and I really like the music in Dark Tide. It's actually really cool. I never really noticed the music in um, Vermintide. I don't think it was as good, but I really like the music in Dark Tide. It's very understated, to be fair, but very good. Orchestral techno music. Weird. There should be more orchestral techno music in the world. Mm, just checking out the rain. Oh dear. I guess I'm thinking about going out later. Mm. Oh god damn. This guy's got white. Also, annoyingly, my Celestial Grey is almost dead, which is sad. It served me well. Right. It's more like Celestial Residue at the moment. Ew. Oh man, I don't know if I could cope without it raining for two months. I absolutely love the rain. I don't know if I could live somewhere where it didn't rain for like that long. I suppose, you know, I'm like the perfect Englishman, but I do love, I do love rain. Rain is one of those things that I find very therapeutic, very relaxing rain. All right. I know some people don't like it, but I really like it. Nothing I like more than falling asleep listening to rain. Very chill. So this is like gondolier guy because apparently in this game in this game gondoliers are a thing i mean i've got a model of a gondolier that comes with the starter set but apparently gondoliers like there's a gondoliering sort of like faction of one of the sort of like there's a sub faction of gondolier drivers which is quite funny in my mind Next thing we're going to find out, Frost was actually a gondolier driver in his youth. Ugh. <laughs> Is someone house on fire? I uh, hope, not that I'm aware, maybe, maybe somewhere in the theme park there is someone who's... <laughs> it's a gondolier driver. <laughs> When he was working in Venice, when the, the tear in the sky started. Is there no end to his talents? Right. 
<laughs> to be fair, be a gondolier driver. Maybe not like in a post-apocalyptic Europe in 18, like 19. It might be quite nice being a gondolier rider, driver. I don't know what you call them, drivers? I have no idea. Gondolier. Gondolier. But literally, this character is called a gondola. Which is funny. Oh no. Coming off the base. And they go around whacking people with paddles, which is quite funny. I was looking at uh, the TT Combat website and there's a bunch of like limited edition like carnival models that have come out like for Black Friday. I'm like so tempted to buy them. Yes. You're gonna say there's a gondoliers guild in um, a gondolier, a gondolier guild in America. Oh, they've got a very good rights so there. The gondoliers have got a brilliant pension. <laughs> nope. because I believe now is it got there's a guild for everything in America or a union the gondoliers union I don't know I call them guilds because I play for too much part of Warcraft that's why I think everything's a guild My goal is to at least try and get the washes down today. Yeah. I've never really had much to do with boats in my life. I kind of like the concept. Also, gondoliering sounds like a fairly minor boatage type scenario, doesn't it? I was just punting around like... Presumably a city. You need like a watery city though, wouldn't you? Be done. Right, so let's get on with this chat. quite sure what color I'm going to use to wash this. I'm probably going to go for a very thin down. Don't know. Maybe a sepia? Very thin down sepia wash. That's true. Although, I think in Venice they actually like use them like as taxis. some but I don't think particularly I mean I don't, I don't know I, I don't hang out near the Thames that much on the day to day um, 
but there are you can get like boats along the Thames still. You can still like get, and I think there are like water buses, so you can get like a bus thing along the uh, along the Thames. But it's not quite as freeform, I don't think. I think it's got a lot better in the last number of years. I think they've like they've sorted out a lot of the issues of pollution and stuff like that. I think there's fish in it again. It used to be really bad in like the like I think the eighties and the nineties. But I think they started to sort it out in the nineties when they realised it was just like full of you know pollution. I think they've jazzed up a bit. Which is you know, pretty sensible. It's a capital city and all. You think you should actually have a nice river or like a nice river? <laughs> I think there are fish in it again. But I don't really know. I mean it would make sense. Oh my god, this white. Well wow, grey. We're getting there with it, but This is. Oh, I know this is going to be annoying. It's probably why I've been looking at the model all week and not actually getting on and painting it. That's why I like live streams because it does force me to get on with things. I always find it best to, you know, do difficult things in front of a, a live audience. Right. <sighs> right, I think we'll probably have to leave that to just chill out for a bit longer. Right, and do the other side. Again. Annoyingly, this bit I know is going to be covered up because there's a there's a leather brace on his arm. Exactly where I'm painting right now. Right. Um, you swear it's like it's reaching to strike lines. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. I guess, I guess, how big are you on your environmentalism? I guess that's the question, isn't it? I don't know whether, I don't know if there's much of a sort of like give a shit about the environment culture over in like America. I presume there is enough of it. There's enough of you, aren't there? It's bound to be some of it. But it's not the sort of thing you really hear about like from abroad. The UK is like pretty, we're kind of aware that we screwed up all of our, we're, we're, we're like screwed up our rivers and stuff like that. So um, there's sort of been an active movement to sort of resolve that stuff like recently, like clean up rivers and like stop dumping literal shit into the rivers. I mean, they're not doing very well on certain rivers and beaches and stuff like that, but And it remains to be seen how like the environmental stuff sort of like works out after post Brexit because I don't know I get the feeling that like 
this is an excuse to relax certain measures within the country. And like standards. I certainly know the Tories want to like, you know, there's certainly a faction within the Tories that wants to sort of like, you know, what's the word? Wreck all the rivers. Wreck everything for the profit. <laughs> like the, like All oh, right. Oh no, that's like a, a, a red thing going around his arm, not white. Oh well, I can always repaint it red. That's fine. Right. But this, this is going to be like a little. Once we've got this looking like slightly better and more filled in with the color, because I need this color to be like more filled in. Once we've done that, we will then wash it with a sepia, which will make it look a lot nicer. And it'll stop me thinking this looks like shit. Is my current thought on the matter. It looks really quite bright from that. If I turn it down a bit, it looks less. It still looks awful. No. It still looks awful. I assure you, it doesn't look as bad as it does under the light. I can't make it look any better. It's in my, to my earth eyes, my real eyes, the camera is not doing it any favors, to be fair. Right. Yeah, it's kind of like the UK, really. But I mean, that's the sort of thing that you don't really, you know, I guess from like an outsider's perspective of a country, you don't really see much of like the, you know, the news tends to report on extremist, not extremist behavior, that sounds awful, but they, you know, the more extreme sort of like behaviors, you never sort of get a moderate view of a country. From its media. Right, gotta let that dry. Right, need a little bit more Zandri dust on this, so whack out the Zandri dust again. How are we doing anyway for time? Oh, I can't tell. I'll just have to look at the clock. God, we've been going quite a while. Huh. Yeah, my live, it doesn't tell me how long my live stream is. My live stream is, it's weird. The text is working, that's about it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, it's, again, hopefully I'll get to the point by the end of the stream today, I'll be able to put washes on them and I'll feel a lot better about everything. My life will feel a lot better when, when things are washed. That's kind of like, yeah. It's kind of like the standard I want. Right, let's go. I need to go back and like paint the um, the leather on these. Always got the base coats done though, which is kind of cool. <laughs> Cheers. I've just got to remember when I start the live stream. So I remember if I start too, then I know what's going on. <laughs> but I'm used to just like looking at the clock in the, on the, the YouTube studio and it going like, oh, this is the, uh, this is the thing. But according to the YouTube studio, I've been live streaming for seven minutes. I don't think that's right. Right. So. Going to go back and we're going to do the leather with the Rhinox hide now. Uh, leather with the Rhinox hide. So get out the old right. No, dryer bark. Where is the Rhinox hide? Get out the dry the Rhinox hide. Yeah, Rhinox hide. Everyone loves a Rhinox hide. Oh, I did. I tell you what, other exciting things this. Other exciting things I bought other than ukuleles this week. I bought a coat. 
and my coat was too small. So I had to send my, I got to send my coat back, which I'm going to have to take to the shop tomorrow to send it back. I didn't buy it. I didn't try it on before I bought it. I just bought it on Amazon. But there you go. Exciting news. Exciting times in the Ugg household. Be still your excitement for the situation. And the exciting thing about his coat was absolutely nothing. Although it was quite a warm coat. And I would quite like a warm coat as it's starting to get to winter times. The winter's drawing in. And my own layers of natural blubber won't protect me through the cold, harsh winter. Well, I thought I went for the sort of the size of clothing that I wanted. But it turns out I think this 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 uh this particular brand of clothing is slightly too small. You know what I mean? It's kind of like a small size. I don't know. Maybe it's designed for like small people. Although annoyingly, on the sizing guide, oh, if you read the comments on the thing, it does say all are one size bigger. These are quite small for the size, but I didn't read that until afterwards. <coughs> right. Oh, sorry, a bit out of focus there. Let me just fix you. Right. Um. It's got like a little pouch on him. Tiny pouch. <laughs> I think it's more the case that people who make clothes don't understand how human bodies work. The only thing I do like about my, you know, the standardness of my body is my feet. My feet are like UK size 11s. I can literally buy shoes that fit me without trying them on. It's like I have standard feet. It's almost like every shoe is modeled on my foot. It's great. Yes. <laughs> it's almost like, you know, try to think of the word. It's almost like we're different. Everyone's different. <laughs> Apart from my feet. Um, no, we just have this weird size. They go with weird size. There's this arbitrary size thing. I literally have no idea where they got it from, but we have like size like feet and there's some sort of like foot scale that you when you when you I don't even know when the foot scale thing I don't even know there's like a foot size thing it's not centimeters but I don't know when you're a kid they take in shops and they measure your feet and then you get like you know you're then gifted with a size of foot 
and that is your foot size when you grow up your foot obviously gets bigger and I don't know how feet work fleshy things on your end of your legs got toes but I, I generally no idea we don't do centimeters though we have sizes which is weird you think that like, maybe it's like inches oh maybe it is no it isn't inches it can't be inches I haven't got 11 inch feet I don't know actually I have my tape measure up here I generally don't know. I mean, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't know why women's sizes are different to men's sizes. I've never understood that. That's weird, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, why are they measured on a different scale? I mean, that makes no sense. That literally makes zero sense. No idea. If you've come seeking the wisdom of shoes, then Ugg does not have the wisdom of shoes. <laughs> right. I mean, it turns out it's some sort of like sexist thing. I mean, it's some sort of subconscious sexist control thing that like was introduced in the Victorian times designed to keep women like, I don't know, from buying men's shoes because then they might get jobs. And you're like, if because if women are only allowed to wear nice shoes, like they're only allowed to make women's shoes in the nice women's shoe sizes, and then like men will be like, no, men, you've got to have proper manly shoes. And uh, yeah, something like that. Because apparently that's the reason why women's clothes don't have pockets. Apparently, designed to keep the uh, the ladies ladies from going anywhere with stuff in their pockets, so they can't escape. So they can't go on the run. It was designed to disempower women. Allegedly. Because you know, if you can't carry stuff in your pockets, then. Well, if you don't have pockets. Funny old place, Earth, isn't it? Yeah, it's strange. I don't. I suppose so. <laughs> All right. So this guy's got a little. He's got a bracer on his arm here, which I can hear, hardly see because I painted the damn whole thing white, like an idiot. Right. Right, 
that's that there. Whoop. Right, and then this guy's got like a shoulder guard as well, which is painted brown. Which is currently painted red on this thing, because... He's got a little strap that goes across his chest. Concentrate your bits. Right. Nice. Oh, he's got like a. Also, he's wearing braces on the other arm as well, which I totally forgot. Just paint that in there. And there's like red wrapped around his wrist as well. So that's bracer, that's red. <laughs> red. He's got red. Let's go get some red. Little bit more red. Oh. It's just my fist and red. Which dies like it's really quite bright, my fist and red, but it dies quite dark. I think anyway. Right. I mean, you know, he's from a weird part of Venice, I guess. Yeah. 
Right. Sweet. Let's just go look and see if we need to touch up any red bits on this. Just go back here and just look this up. Because we got some red. Nope. I'm feeling good about it. Right. This guy's got like a uh, a yellow combo band. Annoyingly now, I have to like use real words. I've got no, uh, I've got Averland, Averland uh, Sunset. We're not got the Yer, 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 Yer. I generally can't say it. Yerl, Yerl Yellow. Maybe I'll just say it slower. Yeah, real. <laughs> but not now. Now now is Averland. Yeah. I'm not used to like people having normal clothing. Where until we get the ladies with the dresses? I'm going to be like, uh, we're painting the uh, dressy bit here. The uh, frock. Nice painting people wearing clothes though. It's weird. But they've got very little armor on. Even like the monsters haven't really got armor on. But everyone's just wearing clothes in Carnival. There's a there's a few factions that are like knights and stuff like that. I really like those actually. Like there's like Inquisition knights and stuff. They're quite funky. Hmm. that up a bit it's fine boom yeah they're literally Vatican Knights also in this world which is weird um, I was I was chatting to my missus. We went to uh, Avignon, Avignon in south of France, ages ago. Um, and I was chatting to um, Karen about going on that holiday. And then I went and read the Carnival book. <laughs> and in in the Carnival book, because basically the uh, in the, like, the, the the Pope kills the Herald, and that causes the world to rip like in two like it causes the earth to explode because he kills like this wizardy chap um that's the story and um but obviously after after the and that destroys vatican city so the Vat vatican gets destroyed in this world this alternate reality and um they actually move the roman catholic church to avignon because there is actually a um Historic papal palace in the um, in Avignon. There's a, a that's where the um, where the that I think that's basically Avignon was where the the Roman Catholic Church was based or the popes were based until they moved it to the Vatican. Um, and there's like this really nice papal sort of like castle because I've been there, and it was really funny because I read it in the book. I was like, oh, they they would have uh, they they moved to the Pope's palace. In Vatican City, or in the in Avignon. I mean, you know, weird, weird link. It's like one of those things where you're reading stuff and you go, "That's a strange coincidence." I just read that.
Right, so we're almost ready to do some... I think what I might do before we go on there, I might... I'm almost tempted to paint some gold. As you know, I do his hair. It's fair enough. Ah, his hair is fair. No, alright. His hair is actually going to be brown. Right. We're coming in with the more fame brand. Let's get a bit of paint on the hair. Paint the old ponytail. I haven't even painted the cloak yet or done any of that stuff. The best thing about it is I'm going to be painting. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah Avignon. Yeah, it's still it's still pretty um pretty up and intact sort of like place where it was like when I went there like ten years ago, <laughs> fifteen years ago. I always forget, you know, you got to move on. You was it you you got to look at the, the current time and then then move it on based around like how like slack you are at remembering how old you are and how. <laughs> right, go go in the gun metal because we're gonna paint some uh, the. The metally bits. <laughs> right. But I just thought it was quite a funny coincidence that, like, I'd actually been to the place where they were saying the. Uh, they set up the, the, the new Popal Sea. Popal Sea. Obviously, in fictional land. Right, let's get some more metals done while I'm here. So these guys got metal shoulder guards. Presume these are metal spearheads. Is this some sort of like harpoonist? Right. And this guy, he's got his harpoon gun. Right. Patch that there, do a bit there. A bit there, and then he's got a barrel on the top here. You have to try and not squiff. Squift. Same along here. Nice. Yeah, it's looking all right. That is literally the only reason I. I have any knowledge about it is because I like went there on holiday. Right. 
attach that there. Let's sell that item. He's getting there. He's getting there. And then uh, oh, this guy. Uh, no. Club guy. He's actually got any metal on him. This guy has, though. He's got a shoulder pad. And his harpoon. I don't know if it's a harpoon. His, his sticky stick. Stabber. Right. Right, lovely. Getting there, getting there. Oh, I missed a bit. Uh. No, get a little bit more energy dust. Missed a little tiny bit. That's really weird. I don't know. But I tell you what, that's really, that's so strange, right? You know, like weird coincidences, yeah, right? <laughs> I was, I was playing a trivial game, like uh, I think on Netflix, there's like a trivia, trivia master quiz game, and and one of the questions was, what is the name of the Pope's sort of like guard? And Swiss Guard, I didn't know the answer. And I got it wrong. But it was Swiss Guard. And it's like, you've just said Swiss Guard, you see? It's weird. It's almost like this is all, it's all like, linking in. Really strange. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's something like that. Is the, the Vatican Guard were previously known as what? And one of the options was Swiss Guard. Weird. Weird and scary. Okay, speaking of weird and scary, I think this guy is suitably dried enough now that we can put a bit of, um, a bit of wash on it. Okay, so the choice of wash I'm going to go for this is going to be sepia. Um, yeah. It could go horribly, horribly wrong. If it does, well, I guess I'll just, um, I don't know, repaint it. Uh, that's not oil. That's not what I want. So we're going with the sepia. Put the fancy brush away. I need to warm myself some more brushes. Nothing special, just new ones. Right. And the fun thing about doing this bit is that we then have to repaint over in 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 white.
Oh. Right. Still a Swiss guard. There you go. So maybe that was the question. I can't remember the question now. Right. So, gotta let that guy dry. Let's get some more washes on the other things, other colors. This guy's shirt. Not the biggest fan painting white though. It's, it's up there with black for me, to be fair. And normally, if I do white, it will be like a bluey white. <laughs> you gotta wonder why the Pope needs like special ops guards. <laughs> Got a lot of counter-terrorism <laughs> work to do. <laughs> Sending the Pope. Send in the Swiss guard. Right, and then we're gonna go with the Agrax Earth shade on the um on the other sepia bits. And probably the um I think on the on the red as well. So that's actually pretty much everywhere that's not white. That's true. I have seen the, I have seen the uh, deployed pipe. Yes. I suppose. I suppose if he uses them as bodyguards, I suppose. I guess that works. I'll let him off. I'll let him have a special forces team. It's been allowed. Oh yeah, I suppose so. I suppose people might want to zap him, mightn't they? Being a Pope and all. that done and we need to do this guy's kind of lower gubbins get his hat done Paint that bit up. That's already been painted. It's already been washed. It's coming along. Right. 
Right, let's get his boots done. And get the red done. I would argue though, bodyguards necessarily. I mean, I would, I would argue though, do bodyguards need to be special forces trained though? I suppose it's just good training. This seems to be somewhat extreme. I noticed I haven't done the um, the other guy with the, the club. I haven't done him yet. It's because I'm, I'm just being slow, to be honest. Right. Oh, you got to love washes, haven't you? you got to love a wash. dry off though. Oh, I suppose so. <laughs> uh, this guy is... Um, is he ready to go? No, he needs his jacket done. Yeah. Uh, he, I could have done him, but I need to do his jacket. I wash his legs and stuff like that. Wash his legs. He does need a slightly fancier looking jacket, this guy. And I, I should probably paint his hat as well. Yeah, he's he's not quite done, to be fair. Right. I'll do that though. Yeah, yeah, it does, it does, it does do what it, it's supposed to do. Right? It does look cool. We've got to finish this one off though. We haven't washed this yet, have we? Right, got to be a bit careful. It will darken it all down. That's all right. You know, the darker the the darker the uh, contrast, the the better the contrast or something. Yada yada. Um, metal. I think it's going to be golden. He's going to have like trim on him. So, like along there, along there, there'll be like trim. So hopefully, I can get that looking all right all right yeah well hopefully <laughs> That's always the plan. <laughs> right.
gotta make sure I get enough in here that it looks all right, but not overdoing it. I think that's kind of what I want. Like down here, I don't want it pooling. Well, I can paint over it. It's not a big deal, but you know. <laughs> My tags are cool. I'm a cloth addict though. Alright. I'm just put a wash down here. We'll fix it up so it looks like less wrecked. Paint all his boots. Right. I am going to have to let this uh, dry though, because I don't think we'll, we'll have enough. Oh, well, we're kind of at time, almost. Right, so what I'll do is I'll quickly sepia the, the final white bits on that other chap. And I shall probably have to say my farewells, because I have to go off and uh, do some stuff. So let's get that. The uh, sepia that white. We might as well go for like a nice consistent white across the actual models. Also, that'll be. I kind of like sepia with the white. It's either sepia or you, you either go sepia or you go like weirdly blue. Blue is the, the other go to for white, but I want this to be a, like a warmer white because I want it to be like a clothy white as opposed to a weird metallical white, sort of like. There we go. So that will just get finished off later on. Oh, what's he got? Bit of a dark face there. We can fix a face. We'll fix a face later on. Uh, I haven't done all the faces yet. I haven't washed the faces yet. Ugh. Right. But I'm not going to have time to, to do it today. So, uh, that's where we are. Come across, come along quite a bit, come along quite a bit. Kind of enjoying these guys, they're pretty funky to paint. Uh, that guy's face is a bit, yeah, broken now. <laughs> I'll fix it all though. Look all right. Yeah, 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 don't worry. We'll, we'll fix it. We're, we're at like a very basic level at the moment, so. Long, long way to, yeah, you know the process by now. We need to do highlights. Also, you know, we've got to make this guy look less, less, yes, yellow and more white on his jacket and we got to put armor on and do sort of various bits to it so yeah thank you thank you and obviously we'll we'll come back and finish this guy off he's going to get a nice fancy blue jacket and maybe some sort of like snatty hat so i'll do like a blue gray jacket on that guy blue gray jacket on that guy and a hat so uh yeah we're, we're getting there we're getting there right that means I can't paint these all week. I'll be back next Sunday to paint them. Oh, well. Such is life. I've got other things to paint. I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. Okay, right. So I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. I um, hope you enjoyed today. Um, hope you have a fine, splendid afternoon, sir. And, um, yeah, you uh, you all take it easy. Um it was it have i done the like subscribe thing yeah like subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff do this every saturday yeah every saturday no it's not saturday i do this pretty much every sunday so um as well as all the other stuff i do but um i forgot to paint that as well i'll do it later right so um yeah take it easy guys and uh see you on tuesday if i don't see you before and uh watch out for the rest of the content there is more content coming tomorrow okay see you later bye there's a button. All right, yeah. All right, that's it. <laughs> Best end ever. Right, bye.